like pitch black. I cannot see about 50 meters in. We've arrived to Wales. You want to take me? They don't like your teddy nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Ziara's new bed. I absolutely love this time of the morning. Just have a good listen. Hello, Sadie. Sienna and Sadie playing up there. She's so excited over the dogs. Oh, look at Sadie. Yeah. Lovely. Sienna enjoying the outdoor life out here. Sadie. You're going to throw the ball? Well done. She has a bit of an arm on her. I saw my child up there with a sniper off, I'd be like, well, well. <laughs> the um, height of this hill is quite deceiving from this distance. Like, when you are on it, it is super steep. Lyra's currently stuck in the swing. <laughs> We're just going to go for a little walk along the hilltop. We're going to go see the horses. Views for days. What's happening? Hello. Say hello, Rossi. On so well. Oh, look at them. Oh, clever girl. Watch your jacket. There. Yeah, they smell lovely. Nice. Mm. I love the smell of horses. It's exciting, Zizi. It's a horsey. It's a horsey. 
Where's the sheep fly? Where'd you see the sheep? Back, Back to the bone. Uh, full moon. Good morning, guys. Right, so we're writing a mental health handbook at the moment. So it's about 0 200 in the morning. We're in South Wales. Uh, it's not a bad setup, to be honest. Got, the, got a nice fire going. Uh, so yeah, we're writing a mental health handbook, or I'm writing a mental health handbook. Um, watch out for that in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is basically going to be there to give you the tools needed um, when you're in a real bad situation and uh, start helping you build the tools needed to get you out of that situation that you're in and eventually set you up to start having a thriving life. So watch this space and wait out. This should be out in the next couple of weeks. On my bio. So guys, we're playing with Fetch with a dog. All right, come on, Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Good job. Such a beautiful morning. Look how beautiful that view is. What's happening, Lyra? Sadie. Let's see if we can find where Robin is. Robin is busy recording um, a video on um What's happening, babes? What? The ball, the saving of the ball. Yeah, he's busy um recording a video on how to use a compass. And this is like the perfect place to kind of demonstrate that. Morning guys. Just in uh South Wales at the moment reckon basically um, seeing the seeing the parents uh, it's the first time in over three years since we've been up here it's absolutely beautiful it's gorgeous uh, literally just on a, out on a morning stroll uh, aiming to give some content uh, on some map region that people have requested. Uh, it's probably the first, the last time we're going to be here before the big move. Uh, it's crazy, really. Uh, I spent a lot of my time up in these kind of hills. Uh, it's absolutely excellent for training and such. And to be able to actually just go leisurely it is truly beautiful. I've also just heard that there's a an old entrance to a mine up here. So uh, I'm gonna go check that out, see, see what we get. Well, that's picturesque that, isn't it? Then there's a uh, hill reps in <laughs> before we go. Just a real quick video on how to orientate yourself to the ground with a map and a compass. Lie your map and compass flat, like so. Rotate the dial on your compass so that it is facing grid north, aligning the lines on the compass with the eastings on the map. The eastings are the lines that go vertically to grid north. Rotate the map until the needle on the compass fits in with the grid north. When your two reds marry up, your map is orientated to the ground. So straight away that gives us an identification that we're somewhere in this vicinity here. We now have the map orientated to the ground. So looking around me now, I'm dipping down into the valley. So I'm on one side of the valley 
and as you can see we've got the high feature the other side of the valley going across straight through here there's a big re-entrance bit difficult to see in the video and then basically the feature follows all the way around if we refer back to the map now then you can see we've got the big re-entrant here the valley down here and then this follows all the way around which instantly gives me a and there's also a secret tunnel up in the cliff side somewhere so he's trying to uh, find that have a look so i think he's along here somewhere but it's like finding where's wally because he's in camo let's see if we can see him i don't know where he is He must be in the thick up there. He must be over here somewhere. Got some sheep over there. Just chilling. In the summer, it is absolutely gorgeous. And this spot here is the perfect spot to have a romantic dinner. I have to uh, post the picture of what I did a few years ago. And there is Robin. Hey, Mom. Daddy, stop. Stop. <laughs> Chilling with the sheep. How long has he been out? Uh, good hour. He's running. <laughs> what is he doing? So Robin is en route to find the tunnel, so he's there, but the tunnel system is over here, so he's not, not too far. Alright, so we found it. It's a, it's a real tight entrance, so I wasn't warned about that. Uh, it looks like it's been blocked off a little bit. It's pretty dark. Pretty dark, so we'll be really careful. So I'm fully standing right now. That's it. Cool. Could do a bit more lighting to be fair. I'm just gonna get a better torch on. Alright guys, I'm about 50 meters in. You can ever so slightly see the end of the tunnel. It's literally pitch black. This head torch was already used in the field in my military days. It would have been absolutely adequate for reading. Anything like that. This is like pitch black. I cannot see more than about two meters. I'll go a few I'll go a little bit further and then I'll uh, I'll see what's going on and we'll we'll turn back. We won't risk it. So it looks like we're getting somewhere. We've got to like some sort of obstacle other way. It looks like they've tried to block it off, so We'll go there and I think we'll leave that as a limit of exploitation for now. So that was pretty cool. Um, so that actually caved in. Um, and it, was getting, it looked like it was getting a little bit dangerous. And uh, this late in the game, I can't be taking too many risks to be honest. Um, you know, that was really cool though. I had three torches on, I could barely see in front of me. I need some proper high power stuff. That's a I had three torches on in there and I didn't know they were on. Is that dark? I didn't light up anything. But... Oh, did, how that far did you go in? Then. Around 60, 70 metres. What, through that tunnel? It doesn't stop. It's, you were a nightmare, Robin, it's Charlie. It, I messaged Stanley actually when I first went in. I said, if I don't message by 10 15, call the emergency services. Oh, please. yeah. And then I checked yeah. 10 minutes later and it didn't go through, and I thought, God, I'm done. <laughs> so cool, you would have loved that. With the metal bars over it. And yeah, I, I got there and I thought, 
I thought, he didn't tell me it was that small. I thought I'd put a bit of weight in. <laughs> I looked, I was looking at it and I was thinking, it's only about that big and I, I had to strip down. Um, that was really cool. I'd love to go, but uh, so. Okay. I kept like, because it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. We, even with I, my, I, my watch torch was really powerful, the phone and my head torch, and I could literally see about like that part. And then so I was going like about a couple of meters and then stopping and just like listening. And then, uh, come. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> gonna come. Gonna come to Dada? Come. Come, Dada. Come. come. She's she there like us. Come closer. That's it. That's it. Good. Like ah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you just think that was really cool. It's a bit. But um, so just carry it. It's like dropping quite. So the first five meters. Or did you go over and look in it? I, only very briefly. Oh, it doesn't, I said, I it doesn't see look anything. very deep. But you go five meters in, like a stand up. Oh, and okay, it, yeah. It's really well constructed. And then I was going, and it was like, and then I looked back, and I realised it's actually going down quite steep. And then I, and then it was getting like narrower. Yeah. So they'd obviously tried blocking it in and then I was trying to measure like how far I was so I reckon I was between like 60 and 80 meters something like that and then they must I don't know how they used to work Morris but they must have like a big opening or whatever but well, uh, you don't know what it was used for I mean it could have been actually used to allow water out yeah like, they had the tracking system in there tracking system like uh what tracks on the ground like yeah not, track, not the whole way but they had something <coughs> going across when i first went in that was would have been designed for something like that oh. um but then Chicken. it looked like i thought there was going to be a bit of an opening oh. but then um it caved in like a bit yeah. and all the, it was all rusty and it was all like and i looked up and you could just see rocks and then i thought and then I went a little bit past that, and then I thought, oh, I don't really want to take the piss. I've kind of got a family and stuff. Yes, it kind of been. <laughs> thought, Dad's not going to come and get me. I thought the emergency services are going to be pretty pissed, so I went to an unused mine. <laughs> Buzzing off that. Yeah. If I was staying here, I think I'd buy a high power torch and some rope. <laughs> yeah. Bye, whale.